appeal to a mixed crowd so with uh, the gay and straight community so we've had a lot more success with the straight community so we had um, we had 12 homosexuals walk out on our first show which was a big disappointment <laughs> so for some reason what we're doing didn't appeal to them I make my costumes. Um, obviously, I don't I don't bead and sequin all of the things, but I get you know I put them together. So I design them. I style I style myself. I've sort of bumped into people that I haven't seen for years, and they're like, "What are you doing now?" And when I say what I'm doing, they're like, "Well, that's just you, isn't it? You know, it's just you being you, but it's me being me, getting paid for it and expressing myself on stage, which, which is great." <laughs> I'm one of only two people in the world that combine upside down juggling or bounce ball juggling and tap dance together. Well, in the last couple of years I've been uh, working on the whole rhythm with the, with the balls. Tonight I'm performing um, some legendary jazz songs. Um, I put a spell on you and um, whatever Lola wants, which is a Sarah Vaughan song, but I've changed the lyrics to whatever Paloma wants. <laughs> Paloma gets. And I hope you're aware of that. There's only so many gorgeous, glamorous girls with a gimmick that you can see. You reach more people if you've got variety anyway. It's sort of, saying that though, it's always surprising how many women there are in the audience. It's, uh, it's usually 60, 40, I think. Women tend to, tend to really like the shows because they are like, beautiful and glamorous. It's just been a really positive response from, from the audience for a few years. That's why we kept going with it. <laughs> if you've had a juggler, followed by burlesque, followed by someone who will sing something beautifully for you, then it's like a, it's like a tapas, I think, that you know, you've got all these different tastes, but once you put it together, if it's done well, then it's delicious. <laughs> he said, keep the 355, because his trouble latte was on him. There's cabarets all over London now. There's mixed cabaret and burlesque nights all over London. There's performance nights, which pretty much actually are cabaret, although people don't necessarily realise that's what they're doing. Cabaret is just small forms, small acts strung together on a stage. It's not necessarily even singing. I mean, some of the early cabarets had poets and visual artists. You know, it's just a whole bunch of stuff strung together with a bar. It's a great meal shared with friends. It's fantastic live entertainment, bringing the best performers um, together onto a single bill, and, and it's dancing till late. The classiest variety show in London tonight. It, it really is the, the perfect night out.